Hi, my name is Martin Ibarra, and this is my term project for Fire Technology 103. From 1852 to 1885, perforated pipe systems were used in textile mills throughout New England as a means of fire protection. However, they were not automatic systems. Inventors first began experimenting with automatic sprinklers around 1860. Philip Pratt patented the first automatic sprinkler system in 1872. Henry Parmelay is considered the inventor of the first practical automatic sprinkler head. Parmelay improved the Pratt patent and created a better sprinkler system. Until the 1940s, sprinklers were installed almost exclusively for the protection of commercial buildings, whose owners were generally able to recoup their expenses with savings and insurance costs. Over the years, fire sprinklers have become mandatory safety equipment and are required by building codes to be placed in hospitals, schools, hotels, and other public buildings. A wet pipe sprinkler system is a type of automatic fire sprinkler system equipped with automatic fire sprinkler heads that have water in the pipes at all times, so when a sprinkler head activates, water flow is immediate. They are the least expensive, most frequently installed, easiest to maintain and modify, and are the most reliable of fire sprinkler systems available. Since there is water in the pipe, a wet pipe sprinkler system must be in an environment that will maintain 40 degrees Fahrenheit at all times. Advantages to using wet pipe sprinkler systems are the system simplicity and reliability, relative low installation and maintenance expense, ease of modification, and the short-term downtime following the fire. Wet pipe sprinkler systems have the least number of components and therefore the lowest number of items to malfunction. This produces unexcelled reliability, which is important since sprinklers may be asked to sit in waiting for many years before they are needed. This simplicity aspect also becomes important in facilities where system maintenance may not be performed with the desired frequency. Due to their overall simplicity, wet pipe sprinklers require the least amount of installation time and capital. Maintenance cost savings are also realized since less service time is generally required compared to other system types. These savings become important when maintenance budgets are shrinking. Wet pipe fire sprinkler systems are uh, to our advantage since modifications involve shutting down the water supply, draining pipes, and making alterations. Following the work, the system is pressure tested and restored. Additional work for detection and special control equipment is avoided, uh, which again saves time and expense. Wet pipe sprinkler systems require the least amount of effort to restore. In most instances, sprinkler protection is reinstated by replacing the few sprinklers and turning the water supply back on. Pre-action and dry pipe systems may require additional effort to reset control equipment. Wet pipe systems are not suited for sub-freezing environments and there may also be a concern where piping is subject to severe impact damage and could consequently leak. There are times when buildings have a large closet area or basement that needs sprinkler protection, but there is no installation requirement for the full building. In this case, limited area sprinkler heads provide protection without the need to install a full building system. It is fed from a domestic water supply that has a limited number of heads and does not require a control valve or water gauge. Wet pipe sprinkler systems require a dedicated and automatic water supply and usually have an alarm check valve. This is a valve that uses a clapper to prevent backflow of water from the sprinkler system and initiates an alarm when water flows through the system. The alarm function can be mechanical, wherein water flows through a small pipe that connects to a water-driven bell called a water motor gong. This is a hydraulically operated bell that sounds when water passes through a paddle wheel which turns a shaft connected to a striker that hits the bell housing. The alarm function also may be electrical. In this case, 
The water flows through a small pipe that feeds into a retard chamber with a pressure switch tied to an electrical bell, fire alarm, or monitoring panel. This chamber is usually one gallon in capacity and is attached to an alarm check valve that dissipates that energy of a water surge or pressure fluctuation by draining faster than it fills to prevent an alarm. Wet pipe sprinkler installations are common in almost every type of building.